and welcome to Scuba Nuts Videos where I'm going to today I am decided to create my own um character for Scuba Nuts um and I'm gonna just start off with a rough sketch. I've done a quick sketch on paper and I'm now going to try and transform it onto the um PC so that I can uh, get it up on my um video channel and uh, I'm just going to do a rough sketch of how I want him to look so what I've got in mind um, and uh, this is the eyes, I'm doing the eyes first For some reason I like to do the eyes first um, sort of get his eyes in um, that bit of pearl drops eyes shaped eyes um, with a bit of the nose coming from the bridge of the bridge of the nose and as he's done and then the eyes will be like a a diamond shape in there um, colours in as I go I think and just put that in there and then the other one on the other side I might not settle for this yet, I might change it, but it's just a rough sketch to get the ideas down and uh, get scuba nuts on the way. Now, I need a, um, I don't know what they call it, a sort of an image to put up on the screen for when I produce my videos, and I thought. I looked at all the other people and they've done their own sort of images like um, Paul Saws has done his character I don't know if he's done his drawings himself or not I don't think he did I think he's probably got someone else to do it for him um, but then again he could be a great drawer and he might have done it himself I don't really know um, no one's, I don't think anyone's ever asked him that but um, let's see if I can get this to move around like that so I don't know how long this video is going to take I may have to do it in several parts um, I'm not sure I like that let's grab that out again <coughs> do that one again that one's gone a little bit dodgy there but uh, I'm going to get the rough shape down and then worry about the detail afterwards the thing to do is get him on the screen for, for now and uh, get a rough idea of the, what he looks like and do some more detail later on this is just going to be a rough um, sketch to to work on um, I've tried to give him sort of sloppy joe sort of look about him um, and his head is going to be sort of the main feature of him and the body is not so important because I won't get all the body in I don't suppose on all the um, videos and that, but I'll try and get um, <coughs> as much as I can of him on the screen. Obviously, you don't get a big area to work with, so he'll be pretty small. Time he's shrunk down, and uh, anyway, this is his teeth, um, roughly there. I'll get more, a little more sharp teeth than that, and then actually I'll probably swoop that down a bit more actually. I want him to be sort of droopy sort of character sort of comical you know comical looking character as well as um, fit in the bill and uh, I've got his uh, hair coming down here like so like that and then when I put his jaw his, uh, his fuzzy chin cheeks rather down there I'll put some more curve into those but you can see basically what I'm trying to do and like that and then I'm going to give him some ears which I've decided to make them like rounded and droopy like that uh, there we go, that's it something like that <coughs> and then he's going to have uh, just a small jaw line protruding through not much showing small lip his bottom lip uh, like that to 
I'll rub that out. There's a line in there that shouldn't be there. I'll get rid of these lines as well. Wait a minute. That should be more curved. I'll curve that better later. I say it's just a rough idea. And then we're going to put his neck in, which is not much bigger than his lip. Like so. Giving that sort of look about him. Um, I don't know, I might change that to a sort of over curve rather than an under curve. And his nose obviously be dark. And then that line there. Going around to the jaw line. Top lip, I should say, not jaw. That's the jaw line, isn't it? Um, down to his neck like that and then I'm going to um, bring his belly out this is his belly shape which is going to be like a an egg shape sort of look to it like so like that that's that <coughs> so his body's not going to be that much really just to get um, a body in there um, like so and underneath there as well like a double rim around there and obviously his arms are going to come out here that's his shoulders I'm going to put his shoulders up there like that something like that like this that's it and then belly there and then his legs are going to come out from the belly like this and then go swooping back in like this so keeping the uh, squirrel looking shape well what I consider to be his squirrel like shape um, like that and obviously his tail will be coming out the back from behind him so I decided to put you know sort of a heart shape there bring it round and curl it round like that and I'll bring another one that comes back around like so and what well, doesn't quite go right disappears back into there get rid of that line there don't want that one that's it that's that bit um, get to my paintbrush uh, dark on that area in the back there of his mouth so his teeth stand out like so like that <coughs> um, his eyes might actually be bigger than that I can't make them bigger bigger eyes can't see his eyes are a bit small I don't want that too small so we'll bring them out a bit more he goes into the nose line like so that. I'll even them out later. It's a rough sketch. I might get rid of that and bring that round. Bring that round here actually, like that. And then we get rid of that line over there. Sort of make it a curly sort of wafting towel, like a bit like a skunk's towel, I suppose. And bring that in there. That's it. Clean that up a bit. I'll make better defined line of this as well once I get my drawing down the drawing done I should say and uh, his legs will be coming down there and he'll have from the belly line there he'll have his legs coming out like that right yes that's it and then we'll have his little heels or his feet there and I think his feet will just be pretty simple um, put some lines for toes in there somewhere I'll get that right and just about fit him in here I wasn't sure the paper was going to be big enough but so I've got to keep him fairly small anyway so I didn't want to um, create two bigger squirrel nuts and uh, that's that and we'll see the towel will come down and around his body like so and I'll probably see a bit of it underneath there like so that's okay um, I might reduce it down his head down a bit I don't know I don't know looks quite good I might even make it bigger yet I don't know it's sort of 
want him to stand out a bit from the rest. So that's the basic design anyway. Um, roughly how I want him to be. And you can have um, obviously his arms. So I'll keep slim. I'll give him a little bit of muscle at the joint of the elbow so I know where his elbows are. And we'll bring this down straight down like that and I'll give him like pointed thumbs like that and his hands just going to be a basic shape like that with some three fingers like that and the other arm will be exactly the same like so bring it down to about there and then creating that extra lump there where the elbow and the forearm are like so and then we'll actually we'll probably change the angle I'll put that one put that straight like the other one I shall bend that round make him look as if he's doing something um, put an elbow there like so excuse me um, and then we'll bring him here like that so need a rough sketch as I said and then we'll give him each other a thumb there and then we'll try and whoop, a bit too small with that. I'll give his other hand there like that. And give him his three fingers. Like so. Like that. And basically that is screw nuts. I mean I may change it a little bit here and there, but that's the general shape I'm going for. I mean I might decide on something different for the hands, but at the moment I'm thinking this will suffice for the job that I want at the moment uh, <coughs> I might make them a bit swaggly rather than straight lines and I might leave some of it out just to give it a bit of let the eye do the oh, let's get the wrong one get the eye to do the work of working out what's you know where that line's going let the eye take over so to speak clean him up here and there round that a bit more that's a bit, a bit too sharp I think but um generally that is scribble nuts um, and you'll be seeing a lot of him in my videos every time I put a video up you will probably see him somewhere in the uh, works doing different things um, obviously I've got to draw him in different positions and get used to drawing him doing different sh um, doing different things so therefore this is pretty pretty still really compared to um, what he might be doing um, let me redo that bit because I don't like where that went make him a bit more friendly looking I think he looks quite friendly and uh, I am, I, well I like to think I am and uh, we'll put some tufty bits there I think but anyway we'll do that on another you'll see the result when I finished it really um, I don't know if I'm going to do this with a towel yet but I want to um, create that swirl on his towel which you can't really see from this view so I'll have to do him in several views anyway to um, appreciate him a bit more. I've got a line there so it looks like his towel's coming down there. Obviously I will colour him in as well. I'm not going to leave him black and white. Um, I'm going to colour him in. So there you go. The scuba nuts is born. Sort of. <laughs> so he will be when I finally finish him off. Okay. So there you go. I'll leave you the video now and I'll uh, see you all later. Bye for now.